gonna build a mountain from a little hill. Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and we are back with another City Zoo episode. And in this episode, we are going to add one of my favorite animals of the European pack, the Follow Deer, also the last animal we're adding from the animal pack. There's nothing else left. Now, I actually never thought I would say my favorite animal of the pack, at least not when I heard of the announcement and I heard of the animals list. But ever since the first time I got my hands on the European pack I really fell in love with the follow deer and the extreme beauty of the animal so yeah it's now officially my favorite animal of the European pack who else agrees with me let me know in the comments down below uh, if your favorite animal is not the follow deer do let me know as well what other animal from the European pack you like the most beautiful animal or not, making a habitat for them is probably not the most exciting thing to do. Especially when looking at pictures on Google, many real life habitats are actually pretty plain and simple and very barren too often. Now I didn't want to make it that boring. We are obviously building in our European area in our city zoo and I really promised you guys that most habitats here will be very foresty and lush. So obviously this is also what we are going to do for the fallow deer in city zoo. Now in the previous episode I mentioned that I maybe wanted to add the fallow deer to the jeep safari ride but actually I wasn't quite sure as all the animals of the jeep safari are from Africa. Now someone did mention in the comments that there is a really small area in South Africa that does have a follow deers living there. So it, it wouldn't have been that bad if I did add them to the Jeep Safari. But then I looked at my city zoo map and actually realized that I didn't even really had space for the follow deer to be added to the Jeep Safari. So that basically just scrapped the whole idea of adding them to the ride to be honest. But we are still having a really nice nice little corner of the map to build a nice habitat for the follow deer in our city zoo. Now on the right side of the habitat I started with building some kind of shelter building for the follow deer. Now I wanted to create a little bit more interesting building from the front but yet yeah, still pretty simple and on the sides of the building will be two windows to bring in a little bit of light inside of the shelter. Now at some point you see me at like this wooden arbor crust piece theme, not really sure what the name name is on the size of the buildings but later on I just didn't really like how this was looking so I deleted this again at some point and decided to keep the building a bit more simple like I used the new decal pieces from the European pack uh, to make this building look a little bit older just like we did with the other buildings in this region and man <sighs> I, I don't know, I just really still absolutely love these new decal pieces and the look and the vibe they give to your buildings. They look absolutely fantastic. So the inside of the building is kept pretty simple actually with some mesh fences, a water trow and some hay. And I also lowered the roof a little bit with some Asian planks so it all would look nice and clean. But other than that, I actually did not do anything spectacular inside of here. So throughout the rest of the habitat, I added some rocks here and there and made this look more interesting by adding some of these broken Scottish well that word <laughs> Scottish I have such a hard time saying the word but Scottish pine trees now according to the game the Scottish pine trees are not really like their favorite or like the required biome of the follow deer but since we have the alpine ibex on the other side of the habitat I actually really like the look of these pines I just felt like I wanted to continue the area a little bit in the same style and just really like how this habitat looks in the end with these Scottish pine trees. So mostly Scottish pine trees in this habitat and the habitat itself will be surrounded by mostly European trees and bushes so just like the Alpine Ibex habitat it will blend in nicely to the whole city zoo area so I don't think it really matters to be honest. So this habitat in the end turned out to be pretty lush, but not like too extremely lush. So you still have like these nice open areas in between. And just like in the other habitats, I did use a lot of the faux rocks and ground leaves again, because I just absolutely love the look of them, to be honest. It really gives that, that extra dense, realistic vibe to the terrain, in my opinion. So I'm definitely going to use them a lot more often in this zoo. So to give the whole habitat a little bit of an 
extra color. I did use the purple flowers again, like we also use in Moose Habitat. Even though these are also not specifically from the region that the uh, follow their likes, I just absolutely love the look of them and the colorful contrast they bring in your habitat. So yeah, I'm really, really happy that I did use them, even though they might not really match this area per se. Now around the whole habitat, we still have to do a lot of filling the gaps and stuff. And I also want to add like a staff building here right in the middle of like the Alpine Ibex, the follow there and the Eurasian Lynx habitat. I still have quite some space left there to be honest. So I think that will be a great area for our staff. Also in between the future like Jeep ride and the Alpine Ibex habitat, I also have some space still left for like maybe a small restaurant. So if you remember, I, I did add like this restaurant in the Australian area uh, close to the African and Asian area and in the, uh, what is it called? Land of the Cold area. I have like this round restaurant building that I just use very often in the zoo. I think it just matches really, really nicely. So I think I'm going to add that building uh, to this area as well. Like we could choose to build like this bigger restaurant, but in all honesty, like on the other side of the water, you basically look towards the twin buildings. And in one of the twin buildings, we already have like this big restaurant. So being that close to that area, I don't really think that it's wise to add a big restaurant here. So I think that small little restaurant with maybe some outdoor seating areas will match perfectly in this area. And then we will obviously uh, save another area in the city zoo to start working with that restaurant facility building that we got with the last free update. So that is going to be very exciting, but not for this uh, for this area. So yeah, that is probably going to be the next city zoo episode. I will do most of the filling up and, and buildings off camera. And then just like we did with like the Australian area, we will do like this short uh, zoo tour of the European area when it, this is all finished, of course, to show you guys the end result. So hopefully you are all as excited for this as I am. Do let me know in the comments down below if you are. And let me know, of course, in general, what you all think of this new follow deer habitat. Leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. And yeah, I just really do hope to see you guys all in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, guys.